Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the newest brand of motorhome from Nexus. This is its biggest floor plan and it sits on the Chevrolet diesel chassis. This is the 2024 Nexus Verado model 32S. Again, on that Chevy 5500 HD chassis. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Verado and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be showing you guys the new Verado the 32S floor plan. Now, we actually did the world debut of the Verado at the Nexus headquarters, so it's really exciting to get one of the first 2024s and to get a bigger floor plan of the 32S. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea! Hi, everybody! Remember when Dave picked us up in Elkhart? I do. Guys, we had the owner of Nexus pick us up yes. to do the world debut. It was very nice, and we had lunch and everything. Yes. And guys, you know, this is really exciting, just that it's on a Chevrolet chassis. You know? Right. Just, you don't see them very much. Andrea, you are right. They did provide us lunch last time, so let's keep our receipt and, and mail it to Dave Middleton for doing a review on this again. You ready, Andrea? I'm ready. Model is 32S Verado. The actual tip tip length is 32 feet, one inch. This sits on the Chevrolet 5500 LT Silverado series chassis. It has a 6.6 .6 Duramax diesel, 350 horsepower, 700 pound feet of torque. I believe last time I did a video on this, I called it a Cummins engine because I'm so used to saying Cummins and it's a 6.6 .6 Duramax. Andrea, look at the front, I love it. Chevrolet, big, mean, aggressive. I love the chrome, this is fantastic. Right up front there, Andrea, we do have a very nice bunk over the cab with a fiberglass front brawl. And what I mean, Andrea, is it caps over right here. It is a lot better than when they put the seam on the bend point. And then look at these tires, Dre, they're good years. I love those. 225-70R, 19.5 with shiny Alcoa rims. To uh, access the engine, Andre, it's very easy. You just go like that, then pop it like that. Just like this, Andre, y'all. Again, the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax, Allison transmission, everything that you need to access it, your dipsticks and everything, all right here, very easy to access. It's nice because it's a diesel, but it's not like one of those semi-truck chassis, you know what I'm saying? This is, oh, that's always a pain in the butt. There you go. I think that's good to have that. Oh yeah, to make sure it doesn't close on you? Exactly. I hear you. Right over here, Andrea? Is that fuel fill up or? D yeah. DF. Yes, ma'am. Right here, we do have mirrors on both sides. Uh, I do not see cameras on the sides uh -oh. at all. Oh yeah, I do remember him saying that. Ah, uh, yes, I remember as well. No cameras on this chassis. No side cameras, I mean. Right here, we have a nice running board to get in and out. Nice uh, cup holders and a little bit of storage right there. And again, look at that chassis, Andre. You know what that looks like? A regular truck. Just a regular yeah. pickup truck, exactly. Look at this, I like these little kind of like exposed rivets here. It looks good. Coming on down the side, Andre, you do have a very nice power awning with LED lights, frameless windows right there. And then right here we have power on the outside. And then here we have propane. And then Miss Jennifer, ding! Please put all the specifications about that motorhome, this motorhome, so everybody can see who's watching on television. Now Andrea, there's two things that I love about Nexus, and that's this right here and what's behind that. So first is Asdell. Asdell is a composite material behind the fiberglass and it will never delaminate on you. And then what Nexus does that's different from all the other brands is they use a steel cage construction. Everybody else is using aluminum. Steel is 72% stronger than aluminum, which ultimately means 72% safer. Yes, ma'am. I love that. 
Right here's the water heater. They should have gone with a white face. Right here. Um, batteries. Yes, yes. Batteries right there. Coming on down. We have some storage. Definitely not bad. I am loving these sideways swinging doors. Very good stuff. Oh, okay. This is good. It's like a little pass through. Yes. And then coming around the back, Andrea, look at this bumper. I'm loving that. Nice, heavy duty bumper. Andrea, oh man, up oh, here it is. I forget what it was. Whoa. A 20,000 pound hitch. Now, Andrea, I promise you, this motorhome cannot tow 20,000 pounds. I believe it's 15,000 pounds. Jen, bing, please put the exact towing right there. Andrea, it doesn't matter though if it's 10, 12, or 15,000 pounds. What's the one thing you always want to do before you buy a motorhome? You motor want home? to weigh it. You want to know before you tow. You know what I'm saying? You do have your backup camera right there, Andrea. And there is a ladder to get up on the one-piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. All right, hold on. Here we go. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece fiberglass roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right there, you have your solar panel on your roof, your Wi-Fi Ranger, and right there's your Wine Guard 360 digital antenna. Huh. Great. If you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. No, ma'am. Finishing up. Okay, here's your storage. Inverter, power cord right there. Diesel fuel fill right there. Oh. Here's your water hookup, very, very nice. City water connection, sewer water connection, and everything. All right. Finishing up on Jay, we have another fuel fill right there. More storage. More storage here. And then here, you can see that we do have the Onan 8000 generator. Very nice. Here's how you get up into the driver's area. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but it is the inside that looks even better. Let's go take a look. Take a look at the inside. Oh, oh yeah, that AC is flat. Yes, it does. Which means it cooled down pretty fast, which right. is good. Okay, so I'm gonna come up here and then turn around so you can see this. Just have a mid-entry door. But look at this. I mean, it's a good walkway. I, I definitely have plenty of space to get through. It's a little tiny bit, you know, smaller right here, but you can do it. You can definitely open the fridge. Opens up a lot more. Then you come back here and you've got your bathroom and looks like you can use the bed with the slide in. And Andrea, right. while we get the slide outs out, let's take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of this episode. One, two, three, Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait, be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. Andrea, these ACs are blasting. They're fantastic. We, we were on the outside for like 10 minutes. It's already cool in here. I'm loving it. How do you like the inside so far with the slide outs open? Um, pretty spacious. It's pretty spacious. Yes, ma'am. Let's get started down here. 
first thing I want to comment on, and we will mention this later, to get into the Chevy 5500s or the F550s or F600s, you, it, it is a downward drop, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So like, It's not like you're walking just you're one step, you're literally into. going down. Exactly, but here's what I will say. Once you are down, Andrea, I feel like I'm driving a pickup truck. This oh, is my point boy. of view right here. You climbing down? I am. All right, this is my point of view here. I got my mirror adjusters here, power windows. Guys, it's just a regular steering wheel, you know what I'm saying? Right there we have your backup camera and your, uh, let's see if this has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. And guys, when this turns on, I mean, it is quiet. This is, it's literally a pickup truck. So it has the Chevrolet MyLink while that's loading up. All right, here, hang on. I don't believe this has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but it is gonna have Bluetooth and everything. Home, media. Yeah, you do have OnStar. Um, and again, you can connect your phone, but it's just not the proper Apple CarPlay. Andre, how do you feel right there? This is great. I have plenty of leg space. Um, I am trying to recline this, right? And it doesn't go back too far because of the... Uh, yeah, that's so, definitely uh, not bad, though. Especially bad. if you in, move your chair right, up, it's going to recline. A lot worse. Right. But yeah, I mean, it's really comfortable. And I'm telling you, I feel like I'm just in a regular pickup truck. Yes, ma'am. That's, that's exactly how it feels. You got your OnStar here. You have a nice little mirror to get ready for the day and everything. And then Andrea. We've got the bunk over the cab here. I believe it's like 500 pounds. I, I don't see a sticker, so don't take my word for it. Right, but I think it's 500 pounds. Really, really kind of weird looking bunk over the cab. It's kind of small. Because, right, it is small, but if you look, it's also tall. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So like, I don't like how short it is, but I do like how tall it is. You do have power and USB there. And I'd say this is good for one person, you know? Got a privacy curtain. Yes, ma'am. Max air fan right there, which is good. Yes. And then over here. Wow, those are really high cabinets. Right, well, it's a tall motor home, Andrea. Check out that storage. Very nice looking cabinetry. Okay, and then here's the balance. Now we do have the MCD privacy blinds, which I'm a huge fan of, but let's take a look at these valances, huh? Let's take a look. Andrea? It's a nine. Womp, 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 womp. Guys, Andrea, why know, are you denying them? I know I have approved those valances before, but the only time I did is because it was a darker shade oh. with this. But I feel like this is too light too much. So they added too much cream to the coffee. Yeah. I understand, Andrea. Well, it it is what it is, but, but because of that, you are getting the light color furniture and it is made to match the furniture. So it eats their own. Andrea, I got cup holders here. This is a very nice sofa. I'm sitting directly across from the TV. Now that jackknifes, right? Yes, let me show everybody. And they that they do have really comfortable furniture. Yes. And yeah, Nexus always has some of the most comfortable. And then over here in the dinette, we do have more storage above. Very good. And let's see, Matt, I don't think we, we always forget to tell people what's behind that sign. What is behind that sign, Andrea? So behind that sign is, you know, a manual way to get your slide in and in just in case it gets, you know, stuck or the battery or whatever. I, I'm not even sure how it works. Good. But. Yeah, it's good to know, right? It is good to know because with all RVs, it's not if something goes wrong. It's when. It's when. So for next to have an easy manual override is very nice. You want to know what else is very nice on the radio? What is that? This dinette. Definitely comfortable. Cup holders here. This does drop down to make a bed. No storage. There's no storage underneath. Do we even lift up the C or I mean, you are can, we sure of that? but I'm, I'm pretty sure there's not. I'm gonna, I'm, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. <laughs> because remember how we said that we liked how they used to have that lock and key storage? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, they never had that on this, right? But that's because there's been an issue with, yeah, yeah, no storage. The, I guess the manufacturer they get it from got it. But overall, still a fantastic dinette. And Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Andrea, MSRP on this motorhome here 
is $240,779, Andrea. MSRP on this motorhome here. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a sale price for it because it's a 2024. But, Jen, please call Cosmo and get a sale price on the Verado, stock number 279136, so everybody can see who's watching on television. And, Andrea, I don't care what that sale price says. I know we can always get people an even better price than that. So if you're interested in buying this Nexus or any RV at all, please go to generalrv.com slash MattsCash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from MattsRVReviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to me and a member of my team will help you guys get the absolute best price in America. Andrea, show us this beautiful kitchen. All right, I did see this, so let me lift this up. Yes. A little bit of storage. There's your panel with all your controls. Yes, and then below, Andrea, is your auto leveling as well. Nice. Now here, oh, look at that. That's it. That's interesting. Look. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I wonder what goes in there. Probably that bag. <laughs> it's a lot of storage for that bag. You can right. put whatever you want so in there, Andrea. We've got a lot of counter space here, which is good. It's really interesting that there's a little sink though, right? Little sink. It seems like it's out of place. You got extension here. And then above here we have a nice cabinet with an adjustable shelf. Okay. Underneath here we have a little bit of storage. Right, it's because we got some drawers right here. Okay. There's another one of those little Okay. Little bit back there. Then we've got nice. two drawers. Very nice. Okay, and then above here we've got the gray stove convection microwave. Okay. We've got the Dometic three burner propane cooktop with this gigantic glass cover. Very nice. Okay. We did the back splash. And we've got a drawer here. Okay. And then behind you, let's see. This is the pantry. Oh, nice. nice. Wow, good size pantry. Right, and it has the adjustable shelf, which is really good. Yeah, very nice. And then, let's see, we have the refrigerator right here, but I think this is, yeah, this is definitely the two-way propane and shore power. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Definitely not wow. bad. Not bad. All right, Andrea, we're going to check out this bathroom. Split bathroom here. All right, and we got my favorite. Yes, the radius shower. All right, that's a good step up. Here's what I will say, Andre, for a radius shower, it's definitely not bad, but it is a radius shower. Do you know what that means? I know. We do not like radius showers. If Will was here, this would not get the shower test seal of approval. All right, the bathroom door right here, you can see there's that magnet that gives you the privacy. Yes. We got the bathroom here. Oh, on a pedestal. Well, on a pedestal, Andrea, here's what, oh. I like that. It's like a built-in squatty potty. Look at my feet. Yes, most of the time you can't even do that. Right, well, my legs dangling. I do not like that. Here's the unfortunate part. Like they gotta do it cause the wheel well, right? But like, I got plenty of space. It's just, it can't be a prime poop position if my feet are dangling. But if we go on Shark Tank and pick up a squatty potty, we'll be a-okay. Right here, we do have a nice sink, mirrored medicine cabinet right there. And oh, liquefy! Wow! Guys, our brand of black tank chemical coming very soon in tablet form. So now you have the option of getting it in liquid form or tablet form. Liquefied is the absolute best toilet treatment in the RV industry. And Andrea, think of me when you poop. <laughs> Guys, go to primepoopposition.com to pick up a bottle. All right, master bedroom. Yeah, shut that door, please. We've got a queen size bed. Queen size bed, and as Andrea mentioned, this bed you can access with the slide outs in, which is great for boondocking, you know what I'm saying? Right up here we have very nice storage, and this is something else that I love, Andrea. Three big windows, and all these windows open so you get nice cross ventilation. You have a little end tables there for your cell phones. Okay, do you see power in USB or no? Uh, power is on the bed here. Okay, good. And I don't see a USB. Oh, no. And then right here, Andrea? We 
we've got, oh, I gotta come all the way over there. Yes. Huge storage. Got, yeah, and that's got a, a mirror there. A TV goes here, and okay. then there's huge storage behind there. Check this out, big drawer. And then you got some more drawers down there. So I guess there's six all together down here. Much better. <sighs> nice drawer. Wow. A nice drawer, and then Andrea, behind here is a combo washer dryer. Nice. I'm loving that. Super nice, Andrea. Is there storage under the bed? Oh, probably not. Probably not. I can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It is all good. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this unit. Three things we don't like, Andrea. What do we do first? Matt, let's do three things we dislike about it first. My first one's outside. Andrea, dislike number one for me is the 50 amp power cord. I wish there was an electric reel. Here's what I'm saying. For a motorhome this price range, I'm not expecting that, but it is a Super C, it is a diesel, and you know the rules. Whenever we cross into that diesel threshold, I wanna have a 50 amp power cord reel. Other than that, Andrea, this motorhome's fantastic. That's just a big dislike for me. Andrea, what's dislike number two? Andrea, that's dislike number one. If you don't mind, I'd like to take dislike number two. Sure. I don't like radius showers, y'all. I never have, I never will. I'm a big guy, I don't like it. Give me, give me a 24 by 36 shower. Give me a 30 by 36 shower if I'm being a little greedy, but definitely not a radius shower. I'm not a huge fan of that. That's dislike number two. Andrea, tell me dislike number three. Dislike number three for me is going to be this little sink here. Right. I, I don't understand it. I Why is it so small? It's not just that. It's just in a really awkward place. I feel like it needs to be over there. Yeah. I understand, Andrea. Yeah. And it needs to be a little bit bigger. Hey, that's three things we don't like about this motorhome. Andrea, now it's time for three things we love about it. May I go first? Sure. I am going to say this nice little living room area. It's very nice, it's a good social circle, you got a good spot at the TV. And then most importantly, when the slide outs were in, it wasn't like locking up anything, you know what I'm saying? It was working out really well, and I actually love that. I think it's a great living room space. That's like number one. Andrea, like number two. Like number two is, I love the pantry. Whoa! I gotta say, this is a huge pantry. It really is. And I like that it has adjustable shelves. Yes, ma'am. And then Andrea, like number three for me, obviously like number three is gonna be all the Nexus features, the steel and the Asdell, but I'm actually gonna switch it up some. I'm gonna say the combo washer dryer. In a motorhome like this, I love that feature. I love how it's a little different and awesome, and it's just fantastic. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in getting this Nexus or any Nexus, all you have to do is go to generalrv.com slash mathcast. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from our website, which is mattsrvreviews.com, or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us any way you can because our team is dedicated to helping everybody in America get the absolute best price in America. Andrea? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Uh, next is they do read the comments. They do watch all the videos. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. So make sure you leave your feedback. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.